Yo, so I just got to in-house brand group. So this is pretty dope. I'm meeting up with the homie Tony. He has a brand, he has a screen print shop. He's doing uh, a whole bunch of orders for City Trends. What up, Tony? What's up, man? I see you busy, man. Yeah, welcome to the shop. Yeah. This is it right here. So getting the packs out. <laughs> Yeah, so right now we got a big order of City Trends and our own stuff. So we're basically killing Juneteenth from the custom side and the e-commerce side right now. So busy day in the warehouse. Busy day. Yeah. So most of this is City Trends or yeah. it's the brand? So if you look at the uh, shirts up there, this is all City Trends okay. right here. So we've got some of the inventory up here. And then as we're finishing this, we're bringing more inventory from the back. But then when you come out this way right here, this is when you're gonna get into the e-commerce part of the shop. Okay. Right here, so we're just doing a bunch of stuff. So if I walk you through here, we got shipping team right here. Inventory, finish inventory right here. Folding machine, but the way that we're able to sell our shirts, yeah. it's so cheap, it's speed. You speed. know what I'm saying? Okay, that's speed. And then over here, we're sorting the shirts. So we can walk through here. It's crazy in here. It's going busy. The transfer, so for all 120 designs that we got. And then you see back up inventory. Yeah. Back here. Or whatever. So yeah. So we're just getting it in, you know. Or whatever. So yeah, it's real cool. Hey man, appreciate yeah. you for having me here, oh, man. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate y'all, oh, definitely. Hey man, so I tell a lot of people about starting off with transfers. So can you yeah. tell me why you still doing screen printing and still doing the transfers? So that's actually like furniture now. That's you know, like furniture like now. Furniture. That's crazy. So I, I don't really use it that much. I just kind of keep it organized, but mainly the transfers because with e-commerce we have 120 designs on our website at like 9.99, uh -huh. and we're able to with this custom built rack. Thousand to get this made, yeah, but it holds 13 by 19, uh, 120, and then we have them all numbered pretty yep. much. So, as the orders come in, I had this custom software built that integrates with Finale inventory and our ship station, and you can literally see what size you need and how many of them you need. So, then the pulling team literally we keep all the blanks back here, blacks and whites at the bottom, colors at the top. And then they can literally say, see like larges, how many larges they need, pull that, shoot it over there to the uh, Hotronics, press them, size them, and then we send them to the folder machine. So I'll send you uh, the folder machine later. Sweet. So I can show them the folder there. That's crazy. But That's yeah. crazy. So you got to put me to work today then. Yeah, yeah, definitely going to put you to work today for sure. It's funny because I started with screen pen and I went to DTG and then I went to transfer too. Oh, I see <laughs> yeah, it's right. Like, what is all of this real quick? So all of this right here is, since we have 120 designs, out here is the top 25 designs. Back there is all the rest of it, but it's all organized up. To make it faster for our shippers, basically what we have is you got small through large of a design and then XL through 3XL of a design. When they're in ship station, they know they can come in here, look for small through large or XL through 3X. But then in the back, if you look at these racks right here, we've got color coordinated. So okay. You still got you have a full size, but you got black, whites, and grays like your neutrals in one bin, full colors in the bin next to it, and then well, not full color, but like your reds, your blues, all that type of stuff. But then in the bottom bin, that's a full color print. So it's all organization, and then you can see back here as like they're pulling and everything. That's our top shirt, so it has its own section or whatever. Okay. So, so who do you mostly use for transfers? Uh, six one three originals. Okay. But six one three originals only. They're not letting new customers in right now. Right. So FM Expressions has been real good for just newcomers and the prices of order too. Right. So y'all gotta make sure y'all follow Tony on Instagram because yeah. his content goes crazy. I yeah. checked out the YouTube, the content <laughs> goes crazy, man. Appreciate it. Tuned in Tony uh, through all the platforms, so check me out. Tuned sure. in Tony. All mm -hmm. right, so Tony's about to put me to work for a little bit, and then uh, we'll see where we go from there.
so we got a real situation in the shop right now. We live. <laughs> got the air conditioner leaking. Look at that. This is a real situation right now. <laughs> so this fan costs four thousand dollars. I've seen it. Yeah. <laughs> it's overflowing. It used to just cut off. This is a four thousand dollar fan. This was keeping the shop cool, right? Right. With the doors open and everything. All right, so Tony's gonna make the FedEx driver a t-shirt real quick. So, this is literally how we're able to do so many e-commerce shirts, because all of these transfers are screen printed, but instead of inventory them on finished shirts, to where, you know, we don't have, we don't sell stuff, and then we're sitting on inventory, we can literally produce as the orders come in, because you're always gonna use the blank shirts, because we use eight different colors for all 120 designs, but, you're not wasting because you're only using that design when that order comes through. So just like that, you know, he's got his Juneteenth shirt. Boom. And then he will hold it up for him. So I'll put it on there. Boom. Catch it going through there. Then coming out on this side. So Tony wants to ride in the car, so we're gonna get a reaction. Oh yeah. This is the first time getting a reaction of somebody <laughs> in the car. So it should be fun. Yeah, this is nice. Yo, shout out to the cameraman. Who edits? You edit? Uh-huh. Damn, you man, y'all fire with the content. I'm telling y'all, y'all gotta follow Tony's channel. His his uh his content is crazy. Y'all think I got quality? Tony really got quality. So I'm in the car right now, Nissan GTR, with my boy Rich right here. So he said his car is fast. Um, I didn't say that. <laughs> it looks fast, so we we gonna see what it does or whatever. We gonna see what All type right. of. Let's walk. Down. Let's go that way. All right, so we coming around the curve. We gonna see if this thing got a little horsepower behind it. We gonna see what Rich gonna do. Let's see. Tony. Yup. So we just did, I don't know what we just did. We we did the brand, we did yep. t-shirts for the brand, mm -hmm. and we also did a whole separate thing for City Trends. So we got yep. two separate things going on. Mm -hmm. Can you let me know what we're doing? Yeah, yeah. So so we did the bread and butter. That's yeah. the day-to-day -day grind with the e-commerce. But then also we did some contract screen printing work and we're fulfilling it. So with the City Trends, pretty much they're having a special um, event for Juneteenth where every single employee in the country is going to wear that shirt. Right. And, you know, and we actually see that all the time. Uh -huh. We just don't notice it. When you go to American Eagle and they all yeah. got Christmas shirts, Starbucks, whatever. Yeah. So I'm handling one of those jobs, 5,200 pieces. But the fun thing is a rush job. So it's two weeks. So pretty much what we have is two shipping crews right now. So that's what you saw. Right. We've got um, two people in the back shipping e-commerce, two people up front shipping city trends out for Juneteenth because it all has to be delivered by Saturday. But we got our own Juneteenth shirts. They got to be delivered by Saturday as well. So you got to see a mix <laughs> of both of them, you know. That's what I'm talking about. That's yeah. working right yeah, there. Yeah, so you got to saw the pickups, you know, FedEx, and all of that happens from preparation, right. you know. So all of this is like scheduling pickups and just doing stuff to that makes a difficult job a little bit more seamless. Yeah. So so I think, I'm not sure we got this on camera, but how does one go about getting an order? Like Yeah, time? so I guess just connections and networks, really. So first, I would say whatever your craft is or what you're doing, let people know. It's so easy for us to always get stuck in just the day-to-day -day grind to yeah. where we're not showing off our daily lives because people think it's interesting. Right. And literally, City Trends had was blowing me up in my customer service inbox, which I have a VA answer. That's crazy. So I was missing it, but then they reached out on Instagram and then they wanted to just highlight me for Black History Month. Mm -hmm. And then 
from doing a good job with that because this is another thing about going the extra mile i could have made like a basic video yeah but i produced like a higher piece of quality piece of content yeah and then that led to sharing that through the offices to like yo can this guy do our june team shirts right. and then that's pretty much how that happened or whatever content going crazy. yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right so that pretty much resulted from like long consistent work mm -hmm. doing on social media mm -hmm. and then you also had the brand right how long was it were you into the brand before it, like really you saw some yeah results? so i first started out doing like greek of flies <laughs> and stuff summertime so i first started out with uh greek apparel right and then with the greek apparel um you know you have to deal with a lot of licenses and trademarks and copyrights so i wanted to start another brand on the side yeah that was just predominantly african-american niche yeah. and it was like a side hustle but then when covid hit all that stuff was drop shipped from aliexpress and everything but their factory shut down luckily i had my equipment the dtgs so i was producing it in-house and yeah. then that brand literally you know we had like the riots last year and george floyd that it just took off yeah. after that moment but then what I did differently was I was always scared to just do t-shirts mm. because I used to do embroidery hats, all that. But the issue is processes. It's hard to hire, to teach people everything. Right. Versus now with the transfers, the press, anybody can come in and pretty much learn it. Right. But um, I was I, I modeled the God is Dope model. So I was like, how are they selling these shirts for so cheap? Right. So then I was like, okay, I got with my reps at TSC. They found me the ring spun cotton shirt, which was a Toltex for a dollar eighty nine. Right. And then the transfers are like pennies, you know. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> about to like say fifty cents to a dollar, depending if it's one color or full color. Right. So then that put me at like, you know, two dollars, two dollars fifty cents. And then I got blessed with a folder machine. So it's all about speed. Right. So that speed is what's been helping us able to sell these nine ninety nine shirts. But what I like about it is people don't have to think too much yes. you know they're just gonna buy yeah so yeah so <laughs> yeah i love what you're saying because that's exactly what i try to tell people on here because i did yeah. the same thing i did screen printing i did dtg mm -hmm. and then i don't even know why transfers was the last thing i touched yeah same for me so i need you to explain one thing i try to explain but i have a hard yeah. time it's like when you invest in transfers you don't have to invest in like the t-shirts fully printed already mm -hmm. and that causes like an inventory issues with mm -hmm. designs can you yeah. let them know how efficient it is having the blank tees and transfers separately. yeah because i mean like when you think about uh, a t-shirt brand you're buying inventory so you're going to go to a screen printer after you've got your designs and then you're going to say i want you know 50 of this 100 of that 200 of that and then now you're looking at 5,000 and up you know for however much inventory you get and we're not even talking about if you got the good bella canvas t-shirts or whatever but what i personally like is i like print on demand but i also like being a little bit in control of my right. inventory versus like print fulls and stuff. They're good for certain reasons, not just yeah. my strategy. So it's like, okay, now I can look at these orders come in the system and then I can say, okay, I need 20 black larges, but they all have different designs yeah. on them. So instead of having all this sunk cost in my warehouse with finished goods of 3XLs or 5X, whatever it is that nobody wants or a design I thought was cool that just didn't sell and I lost money. Right. Now I'm only pressing what's getting ordered, but I'm still able to like get it out quickly. You yeah. Know? So yeah. I appreciate that, Tony. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I need everybody to go check out Tony on Instagram, YouTube. His mm -hmm. quality is crazy. Y'all think my quality is crazy. Tony's is like 10x <laughs> that. Like, <laughs> I'm able to come here and still like, it looks right. great. We can go to another spot over there mm -hmm. and talk some more. But anyways, I'm going to cut this video. Make sure y'all follow Tony. Tuned in Tony on Instagram, YouTube, uh, everything. That's T-U-N-E-D-I-N Tony. Check me out. And his ebook is way <laughs> crazier than mine, oh, too. Yeah, yeah. The quality of this, you already know. So <laughs> <laughs> make sure you check it out. Peace. Man, y'all look at Tony's setup real quick. He got an automated slider. Oh, he yeah, got, he the, got, the got the background going on. Let's see what the lights are Alexa, light one on. Okay. Oh, Boy, look at Tony. Oh, Boy. <laughs> a little light. Hey, Hustle Ninja. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you want to support the channel and have the chance to win a giveaway to help your clothing brand, be sure to check out OnlyNinjas.com. Also, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And stay hustling.